It may look like a rocket, but this is actually a car. And if British engineers get it right, the Bloodhound could be the world's fastest. It's designed to travel more than a thousand miles an hour. That's Mach 1.4. Faster than a bullet, faster than the speed of sound. This full-scale prototype gets its initial kick of power from a Eurofighter Typhoon engine, but the real thrust comes at 350 miles an hour when a solid fuel rocket fires up. This is a six-inch model of our 18-inch rocket. The real rocket in the car is about four meters long. We've got a Cosworth engine which spins up a pump, which pumps HDP, high test peroxide, into the rocket at about 1,200 psi. Goes through a cat pack here, which decomposes the HTP into high temperature steam and oxygen rich environment. Burns here at about 600 degrees C, ignites the rubber, uh, the rubber burns, the rubber is basically aircraft rubber tyres with a little bit of extra magic in there, and then we get a large flame out the back. The current land speed record of 763 miles an hour is held by the jet propelled thrust SSC. In order for Bloodhound to top that, it will need to be clocked twice in a 60-minute period. Historically, it was a very simple thing to do. They'd uh, get to the end of the run, turn the car around, kick the tyres, check they're OK, top it up with a bit of fuel and get back in and go back again. For us, um, our car is extremely complicated. It's got a lot of systems on board which need checking, um, and so we'll have to have a fairly tight time schedule to get that done within those 60 minutes. Bloodhound's engineers have built a special simulator to demonstrate how the car will perform and stress it will endure. It's very hard as the speeds go up. You can, it's a lot harder for the steering. It's a lot more sensitive and you can't stay on the line very easily. It takes a lot of skill and I think children playing their playstations and games are a lot better at doing it than I am. <laughs> the Bloodhound will be let loose next year in a South African desert. If it reaches its target speed of a thousand miles an hour, it'll cover a distance equivalent to more than four football fields every second. John Belmont, The Associated Press.